Hey, welcome, it's Cassie. I, today I'm gonna to show you how to make some cute little chocolate dipped spoons that you can use on your fake food displays. So um, the first thing you'll need is these little mini wooden spoons and I will link to those on Amazon for you in the description. So be sure to check there for those. And then, um, we're going to need some chocolate drizzle. So I'm going to do a white chocolate and a regular chocolate. Um, and there are two different ways that we can do this. So we can use the 3D fabric paint or we can mix up a uh, caulk, Mod Podge, and paint mixture. So I'll show you how to do both of those. So let's start out with the caulk. So this is caulk that I got at Dollar Tree and you don't need a caulk gun for it or anything. So it makes it easy to use for crafting if you don't have a caulk gun. So we're gonna put a little bit of caulk into the container. And I just, I recommend using little, um, these are just paint containers that you can find in the art section at the craft stores. And this is just a good way that you can store your leftover mixture so that you can use it for future projects and not have to waste it. So I'm gonna put some burnt umber in this. This is gonna make like a darker chocolate color. We'll start with about that much. Okay, and then to that, I'm also gonna add a little bit of Mod Podge. Now, you don't wanna add too much of this or it's gonna make it really liquidy and it's not gonna have that nice thickness like a chocolate would. So just start with a little bit. And then we're gonna mix this around really good. The caulk is a little hard to mix in, so you wanna make sure that you get everything really well mixed so you don't have any clumps of caulk in there. Now you can see here this doesn't really look like a chocolate color but when it dries it's going to dry a lot darker than it is here. Okay so the next thing you'll need is a sandwich bag and I like to just cut the top off if it's a ziplock because it just makes it easier to work with with this mixture. And I'm gonna take my caulk mixture and I'm just gonna scrape it right into the plastic bag. Okay, and then we're just gonna press it down into one of the corners. And so you can see there that there's an, a tip without any um, caulk mixture in it. I'm gonna cut off the tip, but I wanna cut just the tiniest little bit, not the whole part that doesn't have any caulk in it. Oh, and before we do this, so I wanted to show you how I'm planning to dry these. So I have a, a small box and what I'm going to do is just once I have everything decorated, I'm going to put it right on here and I'm going to put a piece of tape here because I don't want to put the back side onto like um, wax paper or anything like that because then that side's going to get flat. And I don't want to put it standing up like this or else it'll continue to drip down the spoon. So this is what I came up with, my little idea of how to dry these. Hopefully it's going to work out okay. And I'm going to put a piece of wax paper 
um, so that wherever it, it is, if it drips, it will just drip onto the wax paper. So that's my little setup. Okay, so back to the caulk mixture. Let me get all my, I think for this one, we'll do some sprinkles. So I made these little sprinkles um, and I used polymer clay and an extract, extruder, extruder. And um, I'm actually going to make a video on how to make sprinkles and like some ideas of things that you can use for sprinkles. Just um, I haven't done it yet. So that's going to be coming probably next week. So if that's something you want to see, be sure to check back for that or subscribe so you get the notification for that one. So I'm going to take some of these out so I can get to them easily. So when my hands are full, I'll be able to get them. Okay, so now I'm going to put these standing up like this in a uh, either my marshmallow mug or some other mug or container or something. So um, I'm going to do them so that they're dripping this way. If you wanted to make them going this way, you can, you know, you can do that. So let's just start drizzling this on. I'm going across the top first. And then just kind of fill in. How I want it. Make it drizzle down however far you want. It's already dripping. And so you can decide if you want to do the back side of this or not. I'm going to do a little bit onto the back side of this one, but not too much. Okay, so I like how that one looks. It's pretty cute. So now I'm going to just add my sprinkles. Now you can always buy sprinkles on Amazon or Etsy. Um, and you can use other things for sprinkles like beads, um, confetti, glitter. Just use your imagination. Oops, we don't want to use those. I'm just kind of moving everything where I want it placed so that it's, you know, it looks nice. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to go ahead and tape it onto my box. So let me see if I can get this over here so you can see better. So I just have scotch tape and I'm just going to tape this right onto here. And this stuff dries to the touch pretty quickly. So, you know, in a few hours, it'll be okay. It won't drip or anything. Okay, so there's the first one. Now for the next one, um, I think we'll use some of the 3D fabric paints. So I have this one, it's called Hot Chocolate by Scribbles. Okay, so I got my I got my um, paint and my little spoon. 
And I'm going to actually open these. I'm going to do a drizzle across this one, I think. So get my other paints that I'm going to use ready. So we'll do the same, the same style, kind of a drippy one on this one. Whoa. It had like a, this is a brand new bottle, but it had like a skin across the tip. So, okay, let's try that again. Okay, I went across the top. Now I'm going to start dripping it down. to the rest of the spoon where I want it. So this, with this, I think you can get more definition, um, like more perfect drips. The caulk is a bit more of a runny mixture. So like this one, see how, how, um, those drips look and it's probably not going to drip really when it's drying either so that's one nice feature about this for these okay so there's that one kind of want to add a little more Okay, then I'm going to try to do a drizzle across this without getting on the part of the spoon that's not got chocolate on it. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, this is not going how I planned at all. So I think I'm gonna add a few sprinkles to this. I'm not crazy about how the drizzle turned out at all, but I'll just cover it up. Okay, so the next one I'm thinking I'm going to do um, the whole inside of the spoon completely covered. So I'm going to use my caulk mixture for that one. I feel like it'll be easier. Okay, so I'm just going to... Put the caulk mixture into here. And then I'm going to kind of mush it around so that the whole thing is covered.
And then I'm, I'm going to do the edge as well so that it looks like it's been dipped. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm doing that too. So I want it to look like it's been dipped in chocolate, the whole thing. So be careful because this stuff gets runny. And yours will run just like mine did right now. But that's okay. You can make it work. Okay, so there's that one. Now I'm actually gonna try doing a drizzle on this one again. I don't know why that was coming out so weird the last time. I think this will be better. i get my wax paper so I can, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Get these other spoons out of the way. So I'm just gonna go like this across it. There we go. That worked better. And then I'm going to do the same with the white one. There we go. Perfect. That looks exactly how I wanted it to look. Okay, now let's do some white chocolate. So for these, I am just going to use the caulk, um, the caulk mixture, because I only have white, like a stark white, of the fabric paint and you know white chocolate's kind of like yellowy looking so I want to make it look like the real thing so we're gonna do the same thing start out with some caulk in our little container and then I am going to add this Antique white from Apple Barrel. I th it's like a nice kind of yellowy color. So I think mixed with this white caulk, it's going to be the perfect white chocolate color. So there's the paint. And then we're going to add a little bit of Mod Podge. And then give that a mix. And then I'm going to scoop this right into the bag. And then press it down into the corner. And then I need to, I'm going to get all my decorations ready here. I have some sprinkles already. I might add some little shamrocks to this one. I've got my stuff ready that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and snip off the edge of the bag and then get my little spoon. So I'm going to do this one drippy. It's 
So I start with the edge, just like we did with the chocolate one. I'm going to try to do a better job, though. I didn't do that great of a job on the first one that we did. I think I made my mixture a little too runny on that chocolate. Okay, so I made a bunch of drips. Now I'm just going to kind of fill in the gaps. Oh my gosh, this looks just like white chocolate. It's crazy. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of these little shamrocks on to start. And then I'm going to put some of my sprinkles. But I'm going to place them a little more strategically than I did on the other ones because I want to make sure the little shamrocks show. I'm so excited to make the video showing you how to make these sprinkles. If you haven't made sprinkles before, you're going to be, it's so cool because it doesn't, it's not that difficult to do. It's actually really easy and it's, uh, a lot less expensive than buying sprinkles from somewhere else, fake sprinkles. So, and you can make like any mixtures that you want, which is really the cool part about it because, you know, you can, you can mix any colors that you need for whatever project you're making. And then I'm going to do one more with the white chocolate. And we'll do a drizzle on this one too. I really like the drizzled ones. Those are so cute. So for, for these ones that, um, that you're filling the whole spoon, basically you can just like squeeze it into the center of the spoon and then you can just move it around where you want it. Just using your bag or if you want you could use a like a popsicle stick or a spatula or anything you have on hand. So I'm just going around the edge so that it looks like it's completely covered. Now, if you wanted to have both sides of this showing on your display, then you could do the back side as well. You might have to do it after the front side dries, though, because this stuff is so drippy. It might be hard to do both sides at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine like that, and then we're just going to drizzle across it. Uh, I am going to use the, I'm going to try using the white and the green and see what happens. Or maybe I'll do green and then throw some sprinkles on. I'm not sure. Let's see.
Yeah, I'm going to do the white and see if it shows up. Cute. And just for fun, I have these little rainbow sprinkles. I think I might put a few on a few of those on there too because you know, rainbows and St. Patty's Day go together. Love it so cute okay and then the last thing that we need to do to these is put bows on them so um i've got a couple of ribbons here i have a saint patty's one and then just a white ribbon so i'm gonna make some bows and just hot glue those right onto the spoons make sure you put your ribbons facing your bows facing the right way if you want these standing up then you'll want to put the bow this way if you're going to do something different with them you might want to put the bow this way just depends on how you plan to display them and you can definitely wait until they're dry to do this i just wanted to put these on so that you could see the final product but uh for this video these are going to be so cute on my tiered tray that thing's getting pretty full with all of my little things that i've made this year for it But I love it. Last year I had barely any St. Patty's stuff on my tray. I was too busy to make things for it. And I bought a couple of things and they didn't even get here until almost when, when it was St. Patrick's Day. So I really didn't get to enjoy it last year. There they all are. So cute. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. It really helps me out. Be sure to check out this other video where I show you how to make rainbow whipped cream that you can use on mug toppers or the little pots of gold that you can get at Dollar Tree. Thanks so much for crafting with me today. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you in the next video.